All right, from here starts the speaking test. This is the speaking test of the International English Language Testing System taking place at Ross IELTS Academy. The candidate is Mariam Bakhtiari. The candidate number is 36205581. The examiner is Samson Seas. Examiner number 443533. Good afternoon, my name is Samson. Can you please tell me your full name? Good afternoon, it's Mariam Bakhtiari here. Thank you. Yeah. And can I see your identification, please? Yes, definitely. Here you are, please. All right. Wonderful. Thanks very much. Thank now you. Back. Okay, now in the first part of the exam, I'm going to ask you some personal questions. First, I'd like to talk about your hometown. Where is your hometown? Um, actually, I was born in Iran and I. Uh, used to live here for about like 27 years. So Iran is my hometown and Tehran is my city where I was born. And uh, this is the city that my parents live, my family live, and I live uh, too. But um, may, uh, maybe about 10 years ago, uh, there was a chance for me to get out of Iran. Okay. And do you live in a house now or a flat? No, it's uh, not very small and not very big flat um, that I bought it maybe a year ago. Okay. And what would you change about your home? Actually, uh, it was a long time that I, was I have decided to change the design of my house, my home. So I did it maybe about one month ago. I changed the design totally. I changed the curtain, the furniture, and the uh, color of the walls, and the kitchen as well. So uh, it was my decision to do it, and I did it. <laughs> nice, okay. Thank you. Now let's move on to talk about hobbies. Do you have a hobby? Of course, anyone, I think anyone has a hobby because uh, if we don't have a hobby, we get bored. So we cannot enjoy the life, we cannot enjoy the time and uh, definitely we, we will waste the time and we get bored. So I have a hobby like others and most important hobby that I have is uh, going out and catching up with friends having dinner outside, uh, going to see my friends, and um, spending time with them. Okay, and do you think hobbies should be shared with other people? In, um, in my opinion, I think no, because I'm a close person, so I don't have many friends, so I prefer to have just one close friend or two and uh, share my hobby only with them. So this is my character. I don't say anyone has to be like me. Uh, this is me and how I am. <laughs> Great. And did you have a hobby as a child? Yes. Uh, when I was a child, uh, I was about like um, seven years old. I really wanted to sing. I was crazy about singing and uh, started the learning from my father because my father also used to sing. Um, so I got the uh, tricks about singing from my father uh, and I continued when I was like 18 years old. I started working with a, um, uh, with a, a group that they were singing in Iran. They called the uh, Aryan. So I used to be their local team, in their local team. Right. Now let's uh, talk about the internet. How often do you go online? <laughs> Good question, because uh, I think I am online every single minute because uh, my work is online and I answer to my client and customer through the WhatsApp or other social applications. So I am a person who is most of the time online and uh, I have a page, a business page. So um, after getting uh, along with clients, I take pictures and I post pictures on my business uh, page. 
So that's why I can um, attract more clients for improving my work. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so that's the end of this part. Let's move on to the next part of the question. So now I'm going to give you a topic and I'd like you to talk about it for up to two minutes. Before you talk, you'll have one minute to think about what you're going to say and you can make notes if you wish. Do you Beautiful. understand? Yes, sure, definitely. Brilliant. So your topic is this. Describe a time that you invited family or friends to have dinner at home or in a restaurant. So this is your cue card. Good topic. I'm lucky. Okay. <laughs> You have Thank a pen. you very much. Wonderful. Thank okay. you. So I'll give you uh, one minute to make those notes. Yes. Okay, you may start speaking. Go yes, ahead. Sure. Okay, um, I remember it was two years ago, uh, the night of my birthday. So um, it was the beginning of COVID-19 virus that, which was started. So uh, I was in doubt to uh, what to do for my birthday. So I uh, um, decided to uh, invite my parents for a dinner outside. Um, it was risky, but I thought, okay, no problem, nothing will happen. So I took them, my parents, my father and mother outside to a beautiful restaurant, uh, which is located in Bomland area. Uh, Bomland is a beautiful place at the west of Tehran that you can find many restaurants, different kind of food, and the shopping malls. So actually, uh, Bomland is my favorite place, and I mostly go there and visit uh, restaurants and uh, shopping stores. So I um, gave the offer if they are okay to come with me for having dinner. So they accepted, and uh, we, um, we went to Bomland. Um, we went to a beautiful restaurant which serves Arabic food. Um, we had the hummus in the Bab al Bahar restaurant, and the area was beautiful. The design was amazing. So we spent about like uh, one or two hours there, and uh, we started talking about the future, how beautiful the life is. We can uh, how uh, easy we can enjoy the life with just eating a small food portion of food and enjoying the beautiful weather and being together. This is the God mercy that we are together and Thank enjoying you. being okay. that's, together. That's the end of the two minutes. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Right, okay, so I'll take back the uh, paper yes, sure. and the cue card. Thanks very much. That's wonderful. Welcome. Okay, so we've been talking about a time when you had dinner with family or friends, and now I'd like to ask you some questions related to this. So, do people in your country prefer to eat at home or in a restaurant? Um, what I should say is um, before, maybe about like um, 20 years ago, um, it was in my culture, I mean. People used to uh, eat outside, uh, 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 not out, outside, but at home. They used to cook. The mothers they were the only ones who cook. 
and others used to eat just the food, not, not to do anything. But nowadays, maybe uh, last 10 days, 10 years, um, it's more common for people to eat outside and use restaurants to um, not to get starving. <laughs> so uh, nowadays, it's common to eat outside for people. It's in our, in our culture now. Okay, and what would you say are the benefits and drawbacks of eating in a restaurant? Um, the thing is, if you eat inside the home most of the time, maybe you get bored and uh, not to enjoy the food uh, the way you, it should be. But uh, if you go out, not every day, I mean, if you go outside sometimes and try different kind of food, like Chinese food, Mexican food, which is my favorite, of course, and uh, Italian food, so you can uh, do people watching, you can uh, see a different kind of people, you can meet different people, and uh, uh, of course taste different kind of uh, food and taste, and enjoy the food more, right, more good. than eating at home. Absolutely. <laughs> so what do people usually cook for special festivals? Um, we don't have many special festivals like Thanksgiving and this kind of stuff in Iran. Uh, we have like uh, a month called Ramadan here. Uh, they don't eat uh, from morning to evening and evening they have a uh, small and very, um, uh, very uh, thin kind of food not to get very, uh, not to get problem for the stomach. So uh, most of the time they eat ash, which is some kind of food. There is noodles inside um, and uh, yogurt, some kind of yogurt inside the ash, which is very good for, this, for the stomach after fasting. Right. So, and the uh, uh, very famous, most famous food in Iran is gourmet sabzi, that everyone likes it. Even um, I have some um, friends which are not Iranian, they are crazy about it. I cook maybe two or three times for them and they ask for more. <laughs> right, wonderful. Cool. And uh, next one, what, more and more people, so they're having people are having or getting their meals delivered. So would people cook at home these days now? In Iran? Yes. These days, uh, before they used to cook like traditional food, which are very common in Iran and everyone can eat it. But nowadays, uh, as far as I know, uh, even me, I prefer to cook uh, some kind of food which are uh, cooking them is easier than maybe preparing everything uh, for traditional food because it takes so long time to take to make uh, traditional food. I mostly cook uh, fast foods and uh, foods that are very easy to cook. Right. <laughs> I think everyone is the same. Absolutely. And what do you think? Do you think cooking will become less common in the future? Yes. This is what I think because. Uh, and the reason is, um, nowadays, people work outside. Before, just men used to work outside. But nowadays, as far as you can see, um, girls and women, uh, they are working outside. So they don't have time. After the work, they have to come back home and take care of kids and, uh, I don't know, make up the home and this kind of stuff so they don't have time. And in the future, uh, it will be more common because um, they will have many things to do and there will be no time for cooking. Absolutely. Thanks very much. That's the end of the speaking test. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to know what band score you'll get in the IELTS speaking test? Perhaps you want to improve your performance and prepare yourself for the real test then why not book an online mock test with us that will last for 25 minutes. 12 minutes of the test itself and 13 minutes of comprehensive feedback. Plus, we'll give you useful tips on how to make your performance better. Remember, all our examiners are especially trained by British Council instructors. So, we know how to help you. Join us. Thanks, guys.
<laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? Oh, uh, just amazing. It was very nice talking to you. Oh, thank you. It's very kind of you. All right, so uh, just you can catch your breath for a second there. Thank I'll, you very much. I'll give you, you can stay, I'm going to give you some feedback. So okay. if you just uh, bear with me here, I'm just going to add up your score. So we'll just see how you did. <laughs> was a bit stressful. <laughs> it was a bit stressful? Yes, yeah. I was a bit stressful. The test was just okay and amazing. Okay. Yeah, as I told you, there's, there's no need for stress. It's, it's all good. Well, it's just for the first time I'm doing it. That's why. It's the first time you've, you're yes. doing it? Oh, that's interesting. Okay. <laughs> so um, we'll get to that in a minute. I'll just bear with sure, you Sure, take your time, please. Okay, here we go. So, well, I've got some uh, interesting news for you here. Uh, you Right now, we're looking at an eight. Wow. Um, yeah. Lovely. How, how do you feel about that? It's okay because uh, as I told you, it's for the first time I'm doing it. Yes. I never did a speaking test. And I was, uh, because of being so much stressful, I was expecting something less. You were expecting something yes. less. Well, yeah, I mean, I was on, it was on the verge. I mean, it's a little bit of a shaky eight, but it is an eight. An eight is an eight. Thank and you, you can very e much. you can even increase that by one band score. Definitely, just, I'll do it. <laughs> you can do that. We'll yeah. just let's look over the uh, uh, feedback here on the on your four criteria that you have been assessed on. So we've okay. got the fluency and coherence, the uh, lexical resources, your vocabulary, the grammatical range and accuracy, and pronunciation. Let's start with the fluency and coherence. So, um, you know the way you were speaking, it, it's to me it sounded very natural. I mean, you were and you were giving reasons for your answers, elaborating on them making the every part of your speech in part one, two, and three sound interesting, which is a Great. very good point. It's a very good technique to uh, have your stories and ideas sound interesting for the examiner, uh, even though it's, you know, it's sort of indirectly an extra point uh, for, for everyone. That's a good Thank thing. You. And it's a being sounding interesting like that. Um, you had a few fillers, but the fillers were not language related, they were content related. That was you searching for an idea, mm -hmm. which, uh, which is not a problem. Every, that happens to everyone, including native speakers. Um, and you used boosters, you know, when you were uh, when, because starting one of your answers, I think it was in, in part three, uh, you, you, basically you were comparing uh, two things together before you even answered it. So that was a good thing. You used that in, as a booster and then developed your idea. So Happy to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> these are good things, absolutely. These Thank are wonderful, uh, wonderful techniques that you're using. Um, if we're looking at your vocabulary, so spot on, uh, it, was, it was very much varied in my opinion. Um, maybe you could use even more complex uh, words at some point, but you were using all the necessary words and they were quite varied and very much related to the topics. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is very good. Um, uh, strong vocabulary and being related like that. And sometimes you were, you were paraphrasing and you know, using more of your vocabulary. And you can even use more um, yes. if you'd like to, if you go, want sure. to go for the eight eventually. Uh -huh. um, grammatical range and accuracy. So, you know, your tenses were complete. Past, present, future, it was wonderful. You were accurate, you know, most of the time. And, right. you know, we're using some nice, uh, say, expressions. Uh, idioms like saying I'm crazy about singing, uh, using that, that kind of expression. That's good. That shows that you can, you know, how natural you are and how accurate you are to express those opinions like that with the grammar. Um, at one point you said, uh, well, get uh, starving. Uh, so it's like, to get hungry, so we, yeah. we don't really say get starving. I mean, maybe that would have. In, this was taking you away from the nine band score. Just a couple of things. Was, so, so you mean I shouldn't uh, t tell that I'm starving? No, it's okay. It's just uh, to get the, the grammar in the correct ah, place. Ah, so, okay, okay, yeah, that's some, fine. Yeah, if I, I was really starving, or yeah. you know, something like that, to yeah, really sure. make sure it's it's correct. And so long time, you can, such a long time, would have sounded mm -hmm. a little bit better. Yeah. So it was just a couple of those. Um, but you, you know, you were covering all of that with with the command of English that you have, which was very, which was very good. Thank as you. you know, as far as I'm concerned, and stuff like that, you, using these these sort of idioms and you know, starting your sentences, it, it shows to the examiner what the the wide range of uh, language structure you yes. have. Pronunciation, I didn't have any uh, problem with your pronunciation. I thought you were clear enough. Uh, I understood 
everything you said. Okay. So yeah, it's just maybe oh, maybe one or two errors in the grammatical range and accuracy, then it, it would have been even higher. So congratulations. I mean, you've done a great job. Thank you very much. I've learned a lot from you yeah. in this matter. So it was very really kind from you about the explanation and uh, really nice meeting you here. Oh, same here. <laughs> and uh, do you have any other questions for me? No, that's fine. Is everything good? <laughs> yes, great. So, so we'll just go quickly, just one more. So, uh, fluency and coherence, everything, that's, I think that's your strongest part, definitely. It's so, so conversational mm -hmm. and speaking so naturally. Vocabulary, just one more thing. Maybe expand on it a tiny little bit and just watch it with the... Have to um, practice more. Just practice more, it's perfect. <laughs> but altogether, you know, this is a very good band score we're looking at here. Thank you very much. Very kind from you. Pleasure. <laughs> I hope you have a great day. Thank you.